This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now at Cleavage, and behind me here you see Polestar 2 PP. This is a new one with upgraded battery and also upgraded drivetrain, more powerful motors. And well, actually, it still out, uh, outputs the same horsepower or 350 kilowatts. Yeah, I don't remember how many horsepower that is, but it has more torque. 740 newton meter torque now so uh you know previously when we had the, the old version when you got the pp you get the upgrade you also get the power upgrade you can also get the power upgrade via software update with a regular long range um, but it seems like previously the battery seems to be a limitation so is the battery still a limitation now when we have four kilowatt hour more we have 82 kilowatt hour battery now well that's what we're gonna find out so i have charged the car to 100 from home we have some chem power chargers here in case i need to use them i'll see so i will do the 90 to 10 percent acceleration test we're down to 93 percent okay maybe i need to top up a little bit so let's see um we're gonna drive back and forth here and then do the launch. And let me see, no, no, it's there, there, there. Okay, roughly. Yeah, here is usually the launch point. So I'm gonna do this. See, this is pretty cool. I can do this. And then it says that I will arrive with 90 or 89%. So I'm gonna top up quickly because I need need 90% when I start. This is super convenient, man. Okay, uh, let's get ready. And then we have to do a lot of launches, nine launches total. And okay, I can show you by the way. Uh, we're gonna use, uh, let me see, this one, this is performance. Okay, uh -huh, okay, this is from previous run earlier today. So we're gonna use this launch meter thing. I'm not sure how it counts, um, because this is probably based on speedometer, but 100 kilometers per hour on the speedometer is 97 kilometers per hour GPS speed. And I also have Draghi I will be using. That one is based on GPS speed. So we'll see uh, how this one is compared to uh, Draghi, right? And then G meter here, well, I'm not going to use it. I have to be in one of the screens. So I'll be recording this one. I could also record this screen here, but uh, wait, let me see. Yeah, this one also, but mm, mm, I'll just uh, I'll just go over this one for now. we're back home let's take a look at the result you see that uh, in the spreadsheet here yeah the, okay uh, the old one this is the pp uh, the old one uh, that was with uh, winter tires but it shouldn't matter too much so still we have the same uh, tire dimension and uh, it is a lot faster than before so as advertised but also uh, well as advertised it's supposed to be 4.2 seconds we did it in 4.06 seconds oh nice beating it by uh, more than before you see 
the, yeah, previously here it was pretty neck on neck with spec so very nice upgrade and then if you look at the other spreadsheet here this is more interesting so when we look at 90% and so on, uh, this test is to see how consistent the power output is as the battery drops. So uh, good cars, they will have very little uh, drop. You see here, for example, Model 3 performance, very consistent all the way till the end. Whereas the old performance from 19, uh, well, that's, that's even, even this one is a little bit old also. But you see that the old one here towards the end at 10% it became quite slow compared to uh, at the higher end. But okay, what you see here is that um, this the old one here, okay, it was slower than the new one. And even the new one at, uh, let's say, 40% uh, battery even is roughly as fast as, uh, as the old one at uh, whatever 90 or almost 100%. And what I want to see is that, uh, so previously, okay, the polls are true, I have to explain here. In the beginning, they had the, the performance pack or the PP, and that didn't have the power upgrade. So the, the regular long range or the dual motor, whatever, uh, yeah, versus the PP, they had this they, the same speed. Actually, um, the old one was even slower, slightly slower. It's down here somewhere, uh, simply because the, the wheels, yeah, wheels, they were heavier. See, that's the, um, well, I'm not sure where it is. Yeah, yeah, here, 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 you see. Huh. So um, the Pulsar 2 PP was actually somewhat slower than the, the non-PP simply because the, the wheels were heavier. Yeah, I've shown this before also in, in the Tesla that the lighter wheels, lighter rims will improve acceleration times. But okay, um, but then eventually you could buy this upgrade for a certain money. So it's a software upgrade for the PP, only for the PP, and then you get more power. But the, mo the, the increased power was only until 70%, below 70%, you would then not get that bonus anymore. So you can kind of see it here that uh, it became 4.7 seconds, just like the regular uh, non-PP. And this is what I want to see is that with a new battery and also new drivetrain, but especially battery, then uh, is the battery that much of a limitation anymore? It doesn't seem like it. And then over here, we have the normalized data. So this one will show you um, better how flat it is. And also the average here will also show you, uh, ideally you want to have this number as low as possible. You see that for example, BMW i4 has really no low numbers. And then the old Tesla you see was not that great. Also Kia, EV60 T also, yeah. So um, yeah, in that regard, it is also slightly flatter than before and more consistent and also towards the end yeah but it seems to have the similar drop towards the end as the old one but it's just that um i mean how is okay what they what polter could have done was to limit the power and limit the torque uh, so that you will have more consistent you will have let's say uh software limited to 4.4 seconds from 90 percent and then you will have a quite flat curve right um, maybe similar to uh, BMW is doing because they, I don't know, maybe they limit the power slightly. So you can just have very consistent driving, whereas Polestar and maybe, well, at least the old Tesla Model 3 performance, you get quite awesome performance at the low end, but then towards the end, the battery becomes a limitation and then it goes slow, especially at 10%. So yeah, this was interesting to see the upgrade. I, wanna, I wanted to show you guys that if you pay now for the PP, you get, okay, you get this one, you get the early damper, you get the nice uh, big fat brakes. And you also get more power and it is more consistent. You can enjoy the power for a longer time than before, I feel like. So this is definitely a nice upgrade. Yeah, and <laughs> I think I'm the only one testing acceleration in this way, this extensively. But now you guys get the answer and then it will be easier for you to consider. Should you go for the regular dual motor or the performance pack? Yeah. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.